They're facing charges of rebellion, disobedience and misuse of public funds, all related to the independence referendum held on October 1, 2017. The referendum was declared illegal by the Spanish government, which moved to punish those involved immediately. By October 30, 2017, the president of the newly declared Catalonian Republic, Carlos Puigdemont, and his entire cabinet were charged with sedition. Within days, eight ministers who had remained in the country were detained without bail. Others were swept up by the justice system later that year. We are all supporting them because they are suffering a terribly unjust and humiliating situation and are being used to set an example. The trial is not an act of justice. It will not be an act of justice, but rather one of vengeance. After being detained for more than a year, six of the jailed activists began a hunger strike in December of 2018. It ended 20 days later. And by February this year, the case against them opened in Spain's Supreme Court. Well, for more on this story, let's speak now to Manu Terralderos from our Spanish team here at Euronews. Manu, what are we expecting to hear today? Buenos dias, Tox. Good morning. Well, today it's the final day after exactly four months of trial. Today it's time for those who are accused uh, to present their final statements. We're going to see um, Oriol Junqueras, who was vice president of the regional government. We're going to see also the former speaker of the regional government, some regional ministers and the famous Jordis, the leaders of two civil organizations. They're going to offer their final statements. They're going to present their positions. Um, We're more likely to hear what they said before. It's that this was more like a people's movement where they played their little role, but they were not really behind it. Um, some of them, like uh, Junqueras, will say that um, he's being prosecuted uh, because of his ideas, political views, not because of what they did. They will also speak about what happened, for example, uh, other position they defend is that this declaration of independence was more like a symbolic action, that there was no plan really behind for an actual disconnection uh, from the Spanish state. Okay. And the trial will also be determining whether they face you know, charges of sedition or rebellion. You know, what's the difference between them? Well, there is a big difference. Um, to make it easier, the difference is the use of violence in an uprising. When it's rebellion, it means the use of violence. When it's sedition, it means there is no violence involved. Uh, let's take Oriol Junqueras, for example, who is the highest ranked uh, official or politician in this case. If we speak about rebellion, he could face up to 25 years of sentence. If it's not the case, it could be 5, 10, maybe 15. Then we have also some different uh, players. We have uh, the attorney general who is asking for rebellion, the same as a private prosecutor, because uh, the extreme right party Vox, like any private citizen, can also present a case. That's what they did, asking for rebellion. And then we have the solicitor general, which is, let's say, the lawyer which represents the Spanish government, to make it easier to understand, who is saying that he only sees sedition, so no use of violence. Obviously, there is a big deal with this, because we are speaking in the case of Junqueras, if he's found guilty, a difference from 25 years years to 15 or even less. I see. And when can we expect a verdict in this case? Oh, well, we had four months of trial. We will still have to wait. Uh, it will be after summer, maybe September. If I had to bet, I would say probably October. We have to, to remind that this is the Supreme Court, so there is no jury. It will be up to the judge to deliver a verdict, and for sure it will be after the summer.